G'day guys, welcome to Orchard TV2. I am playing with Demon Heart again, we're the Commonwealth, and we're fighting a Japanese team of Fluffy Sensation and Oyari again. Uh, this is one of the maps that I am not too sure to add to the tournament. I'm thinking no, because I think it's a bit unbalanced for the allied side, because the hill is so large that you can hide anything behind there and, and shoot like the 105s, M8s, this, and even pop out, shoot and pop out. It's, the Germans don't really have much to hide behind, only a smaller heel. Um, other than that, I don't have too much problems with the map, so maybe even a tweak to the map could be um, something that could be done. I don't know. Let me know what you think. So I've got the Jeep start. People I've been finding on my channel have been talking about the Jeep start. Not that it's any good, but I think it's still great. Um, it's not that easy to shoot the guys off the Jeep, to be honest. Uh, it's been nerfed uh, after few complaints from us, um, the hit points have been out to, I think, by four. But I think it's still viable now, as you can see, once you get the singles up, um, that can be good. It's got a target the MG of the regular squad. It's not that, not, really not um, easy to decoy it, and especially if you have backup now, as I do. You can just storm in there. And in close range, it's really accurate, the MG. It's not like a normal MG guy, it's more accurate than a normal MG guy. So it's a bit of cheesy tactics, but yeah, I really don't like this tactic, to be honest, um, to use it. I use this a lot in the first veteranship 2v2 tournament, just because I wanted to win, obviously. Um, and it did win a lot of games, and this is uh, viable, I guess. But I think these days it's good. It's better. Um, sorry, the openings are better, because there's options for... Um, there's an AT rifle, bastard. Got to take him out quick. DC lost it. Bam. Took him out. Love like that. Um, <laughs> there's options for... Uh, Getting so starting off with many different starts now with elite marksmen, assault squads, regulars, and two v twos. I think they're all viable in my opinion. I haven't. Uh, I it's probably a, a one a bit better than the other. Like as you will say, elite marksmen, Johnsons. That's probably the best start you can do as you will say. But uh, to be honest, I think there's a lot of variety you can do now these days in openings. Um, so right now I'm not getting much payback. I'm gonna just try to get the go get lucky perhaps. But his infantry did come in time takes me out. Uh, just running away trying to make my jeep survive. Uh, I realized a bit later on that perhaps I just need payback so I might actually suicide my jeep because you see uh, in your players, you see the, the on the top right underneath the MP count, it's got zero zero for the yellow MP which means I'm getting no payback. It's a big deal if uh, at the very start so you, you can basically get double the resources. Um, if you have payback, so if I lose this cheap, see that? Now I've got 1.5, 3, 3 MP per second now, and it will tick down until it pays back the loss of the jeep. So I'm going to wait for a Crusader AA 40mm, just to be a cunt. Uh, just, just just trying to win, really. Uh, no, nothing, nothing, uh, there's no other motivation. I'm not trying to be a wanker, or trying to troll. <clears throat> it's probably the best way I can think of winning right now. The surprising with the early 40 mil take out everything, especially versus Japanese. I guess they can get the Chihi, but if I'm in a good position underneath the hill, um, it'll be quite hard to counter. Uh, so me and my ally are not really doing much team play right now. They're not on team speak, so it's not optimal play. I suppose for teams. I'm just kind of playing like a 1v1 right now. The usual black watch, just to get the infantry numbers up. So once I have that crusader, I have infantry to actually help me. Get some line of sight and push up. The floppy's trying to push on from the left side. Just gonna move to attack from that side now, instead. I'm coming in directly to uh, my flag point. Far oh, out, top left. One Sten Sten's killing SNS soldiers. Jeez. Nice one by Demon Hard. Um, out of sinks. Uh, surprisingly, haven't got too many. Probably about uh, six games. I got one. And even a game that took around 50 minutes with um, Mr. Pringles and uh, two spectators and Andy and who's the other guy? And that Matt. Played 50 minutes, didn't they go out of sync? That was quite surprising. 
Uh, yeah, but still, unfortunately, I don't. It's very frustrating. I know for you guys, out of sync galore. Um, just it can't get fixed. <laughs> they just literally can't find the problem. That's just how simple it is. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's. I guess it's understandable. It's one of those problems, perhaps, that just they just need to get the logging um, going. They just can't find anything consistent each time an out of sync happens. So hopefully, they do get it. But I have. I guess some people. I think they'll never get it. I, I, when they initially had the other sync problem, I just thought that'd be an easy fix. One day, no problem. Two days, <laughs> two months pass, they still can't fix it. So I'm leaning onto the, to the camp, the thought, of, the thought that it'll never be fixed. And if it doesn't, we'll have to figure out some ruling um, to see if something goes out of sync in the tournament. I'll we'll just have to judge it based on um, opinions. Could be the case. To be honest, I. I it might not even be fixed. Uh, it's just quite ridiculous, but uh, yeah, I can't find a, a game, a better game right now, so I'm just going to keep try playing this game. Uh, that was just suicidal, I mean, not really trying. So you can see that German side of the hill, I would say the Axis side of the hill, it's very tiny, so you can't really hide units behind. Uh, on Just just beyond the flag though you can, there's a little, little ditch area with a, small, a, a larger hill where you can hide. Stopping the ammunition. <laughs> so we repair. That's Jitska Sunbeam style. Don't usually uh, do that. I play fair, guys. That uh, it's, uh, all the games have been. I'll, I still, I still get uh, dumbfounded by that when I watch Sunbeam's games or Jitska's game. Uh, when the enemy repairs something and their enemy repairs something, and it's not firing properly. I still don't know what's happening. They just remove the ammo. Just for the for the kicks. So, yeah, Ganzax. Yeah, it's probably a bit boring to watch, guys. It's, yeah, unfortunately one sided. Um, hopefully, you can see what the Jeep does. Hopefully, you can get some more new players, people that uh, weren't sure about the Jeep. But, yeah, I think the Jeep's still great. And just to get the map, the map awareness out there. If this should be included in the tournament, that's the main purpose of this uh, video. Let me know what you guys think. Damn, this is kind of inaccurate. This I'm DCing this as well, and I'm prone. I can't hit anything with it. I tried short bursts, long bursts. Still, <laughs> still nothing. So I better wait for that uh, Sherman 50 cal. Um, quite love the show in fact. I'm only going to Cromwell if it's urgent. Like we need to counter something really quick. But otherwise, I'm just going to bank for a show. It's just the sloped armor is good, and you watch those 50 cows. See, I rarely, I rarely actually direct control killing uh, units for the tank because. Really, it's not too much more accurate, and I trust it more, <laughs> especially in uh, in his lag. Oh, I'll change the chart. Damn it. Didn't how it comes. Why do you have a Simmers icon? What the hell? It's bizarre. That's not Simmers, guys. That's Demon Heart. <laughs> I had no idea why I had the Simmers icon. This is a live recording, it's not a replay. Jesus. Um, take the hard go out. Also, I'm definitely not raping noobs, guys. These guys are very good players. It's just that uh, there is, unfortunately, a, a skill gap in the top, I guess the top three uh, players. Then after that, there is, uh, yep. Yeah, probably five or six guys underneath, and after that, there's a big skill, but get the skill gap. And beneath that, the new players, extremely big skill gap. I don't, I don't know. It's been a while. Expecting a lot more. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, good players come out of AS2, like Sunbeam and Simmers. They're probably the greatest additions, but we've lost quite a few too, like Godwin. Uh, we've lost uh, Shoto. We've lost quite a few, in my opinion. I don't know. If the competitive community hasn't actually grown since uh, Men of War. It's also called one very, the very start. We gain people and we lose people all the time. 
But I think the skills skill has improved because um, the last two years, sorry for talking shit, guys. This, yeah, you, there's nothing much else to talk about right now. But um, yeah, the skills definitely improved with the top uh, top three. Anyway, good game, guys.